Hey guys, what's up? Uh, check this out. I'm going to connect some dots here to, a, to an interesting story that broke today. It's President of uh, Venezuela, Hugo Chavez, came out and was speculating that the U.S. government could be behind the recent rash of cancer that's afflicting a lot of the South American leaders. There's several of them, including himself. So uh, that's the story we're going to get to eventually, okay? Uh, to get there, I want to show you a couple dots I think I might be able to connect. Uh, here's the first. Uh, also, I had to find, one time they wanted me to find, um, to find out if there was such a thing as, um, as a poison that was undetectable, especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman, and a special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart, and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person, so at, when it reached the person, it would melt inside them, and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body, which was hard to detect. There wouldn't be a needle left or anything like that in the person. But also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy? Yes, so that uh, there was no, no way of perceiving that the, uh, the target was him. I think the first time that I seriously so, questioned anything. All right, that's, that's that. Pretty wild stuff, right? Okay, so keeping that in mind, that the technology is there for these um, these guns that can actually shoot diseases into you. <laughs> All right, um, check this out. I thought this was interesting. This is uh, Suge Knight right after he got out of jail. I'm not even sure which time. <laughs> I guess there's been a few, but he's on the Jimmy Kimmel show, and uh, just kind of check out what he, what he's saying here. It all kind of comes together. First time in jail, come check you out, right? Right. Why the bulletproof vest? Oh, it's not. Oh no, that's just it's your style. You've been in the can for a while. Get all the talk show hosts are wearing. It's a new thing, right? Yeah. See, if somebody got to do something about it, see, technology is so high, right? Right. So if you shoot somebody, you go to jail forever. To the kids, you don't want to go to jail forever, right? So they got this new thing out there. People stuff them all the time. They got this stuff to call. They get blood from somebody with AIDS. Yeah. And they shoot you with it. Oh, so well, that's your path. That's a yeah. slow death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no>. Okay. Wait a minute. Lighten the mood. Wow. Well. All right. So there's there's that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'll take two of whatever he was drinking because uh, looks like he's feeling pretty good. Anyway, lastly, here's Hugo Chavez himself, and um, just check out what he's saying. Hugo Chavez has long questioned whether the U.S. might be plotting to get rid of it. Today, he suggested the rash of cancer cases among Latin American leaders, including his own, might be something sinister. It's hard to explain. By the law of probability, for example, what's been happening to some of us here in Latin America. At least it is strange, very strange. I don't want to launch any accusation. That would be rash, he said. Chavez maintained he's not accusing the U.S. and he doesn't have any proof. Would it be strange if they had developed the technology to induce cancer and nobody knew about it until now, said the president? And let's say we found out 50 years from now. I don't know, I'm just reflecting. But this is very, very strange that we've all gotten cancer. Chavez plans to run for re-election next year and is known for his off-the-wall comments and barbs at the United States. Thanks for watching our report. Be sure to share it with your friends.